Hey guys, I'm Pat from Pat's Brewery and we're gonna have some fun. So what we're gonna do today, or at least try and do, is uh, take some measurements with regards to our boiler volumes on the uh, new base of the new element. Um, so we're gonna be doing it on a, uh, start with say 26 uh, liters uh, for the standard batch is what I've, I currently do. So um, we'll do that and then we'll also probably do a boil off with a higher volume. But before that, we need to do a little bit of cleaning. Um, and as you can see, we've already got uh, one of the, we've got the HLT over by the sink to give that a bit of a rinse out before we start with doing a chemical clean. So just getting a little bit of a rinse on that. Um, let's move it back over to uh, start with the cleaning, of the proper cleaning. Well, that's with the rinse, proper cleaning over there. Okay, so uh, I've got both pumps running, so uh, sounds probably atrocious, but uh, yeah, I've been uh, recirculating clean solution in here. I've split it out, so I've also cleaned out the, uh, the boiler kettle at the same time. Um, really impressed with how quickly the uh, HLT is heated up, uh, so going from that 2.4 kilowatt uh, element through to a, uh, a 3 kilowatt element has just upped the game substantially. Um. Okay, so uh, it's actually the next day, as a few things got in the way of yesterday's uh, filming. So um, let me just go through what we're currently doing. So. Uh, I've actually also changed over the um, sight glass to the to a new sight glass that I bought a little while ago, um, just because I thought I'd also test this one out, see if it's worthwhile buying another version of this. Uh, this one is it's not a bad sight glass. It's just that um, it does tend to actually leak uh, in this bit here. Uh, so there's obviously the uh, the thread between the metal nut and the the tube, um, you know, it, it can't get any tighter, and uh, it just lets lets water through. Only a small amount, but I thought might as well, um, you know, test out this one, see if it's worth worth getting another one of that. Um, side glass seems to be a thing that I uh, just don't seem to be able to uh, find the perfect one. So if there's any recommendations out there. Um, you know, give me a shout and uh, I'll, I'll have a look into them. Yep, so anyway, at the moment, uh, we're just filling up the boil kettle. Uh, we're actually gonna be going for, I'm hoping to squeeze in 50 liters, because if I can get 50 liters in here, um, then it'll be, uh, games are good and for full double batches. Um, so get, yeah. Anyway, that's that's the plan. 50 liters is what we're going for. Currently got 15 in there at the moment, based off of this line, which is the new 15 line, because uh, the original markings seem to have somehow moved from the tape. Um, but yeah, so just gonna carry on filling it up, and then we're gonna start our, first of all, a how long does it take to bring it up to a boil test? And then uh, we'll be doing two boil off tests, one at the 50 liters, and then another one uh, around the uh, around the 26, depending on how much actually boils off from the from the 50. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. So we have done it. We've got up to 50 liters. Uh, it's all marked up. 50 liters in there. It's going to be tight. Um, there's depending on how ferocious the boil is, depends on uh, how bad this is going to be. Um, Side glass holding up good, no drips. So I am happy with this. I'll probably get this as the new model. Um, also, I like the fact that it's got that little bit of extra height. So uh, if I do 
upgrade the boil kettle to uh, a size up. Um, that shouldn't have too much of an impact. Uh, starting off at around 18 degrees, which uh, let's just check that my probe from a control panel and this probe is about the same. Okay, so control panel is registering a little bit lower than this thermo, but um, you know, within reasonable calculations, I think. So uh, it's also 11.46 when I've now turned the, uh, the element on. So yeah, we'll see how long it takes to bring it up to the boil. Okay, so 15 minutes in and uh, I smelt a little bit of plastic burn and uh, I've gone in and had a look inside the control panel. Um, and yeah, one of the, uh, the bars that I use on the hot side has uh, melted. So um, not, not good. Obviously it's pulling a lot of, lot of power. Uh, I actually, I'm sure it was rated for 30, 30 amps, but um, we'll see. Uh, I do have some, I've got some new uh, connectors, so actually I can just swap that over. Um, I mean, we've got up to 43.5. Uh, I did turn off the, the power as soon as I actually uh, smelt the, uh, the melty plastic. So um, maybe got up to 45 even. Um, but yeah, so fine, got to make some changes. So some changes to this planned schedule it happens. Okay, so it's now 1234. Uh, so it's taken a little bit longer to find all the bits I need to build a new bus bar, uh, but that's now done. Uh, I upgraded some of the wires uh, as well on the bus bar, just to make sure they've got all of the uh, required girth. Uh, to make sure it's all good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, I had a little bit of an inspection on the old bus bar and compared to the new uh, new parts that I bought, yeah, it did look a little bit um, less substantial. Um, I think I might actually invest though in a proper bus bar rather than just the uh, kind of, I don't even know what they're called, like just the wire kind of bridges that uh, everyone tends to use. So. Yeah, probably gonna get a proper proper bus bar so I don't have to worry about that sort of thing again. All right, let's get back to it. We've actually held temperature pretty well, apparently, uh, 42, so only a degree or so loss. Let's just check up here. I reckon it's still 40, 44. So um, yeah, that's that's not too shabby, obviously. Uh, and actually this will kind of reflect a little bit more like a, a true brew day build up. So, Let's start that timer one more time. Okay, I think we are about there. What is, actually, fuck. The time is 1.09, so that's probably about, so half hour that is, since uh, the repair. We are registering at 99, 100 degrees. That looks like a rolling ball. Now we're only 95 on there. Uh, so I'll have to make an adjustment. What I'll do is, oh, a few spits over. Oh, all right. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna drop this down. Ninety-seven. Oh yeah, that's so that's full-on boil. Let's uh, okay. So I just had to stop to have a sandwich. Uh, you know, important times and all that. Now um, I have update. Well, uh, I've set the. Uh, temperature to 
uh, 96.5 uh, and it's reading at 92 we are at 95.5 there so that is three points roughly three and a half points higher so I think I think that um, you know, I still need to make some slight adjustments on well I still need to make the final adjustments so that when I set it as a hundred it will be a hundred but for the most part I think uh, you know it shouldn't be continuing to vigorously boil uh, when it's already hit uh, you know the true 100, 100 degrees um, now you can see that the PID is bringing it up to the boil at its uh, at, a, at a slower rate because we're almost there um, which I'm hoping that by doing it that way um, you know we won't have as such a ferocious boil uh, if we still do then it means that uh, yeah I have a bigger pot or slightly slightly smaller uh, boil volume which you know it's not the worst thing in the world um, but yeah whatever it is uh, if it I mean if it still boils over, what I'll do is I'll drain, um, I'll drain some off, and then I'll still do a boil off test, um, and we can just see see what happens. Um, yeah, that's that's the plan. Ninety five, ninety two. So we are coming up to boil in a moment. Now, obviously, we had some spillage earlier. Um, so I'm just doing this as a reference to go okay so we're just under the 50 litre line actually uh, so that's even at full uh, so obviously there's a boil volume uh, or you know that gets generated off of the, the heat and the movement of the, the water there so we probably lost a few a couple of litres anyway but what we're going to do is once I've reached uh, proper boil we'll do the one hour countdown and see from here where it drops to. Let's see if I can capture the boil moment. I reckon uh, one hour timer starts now. Right then boys and girls, it's been an hour. Still bubbling away, as you can see. Let's get the old ink pad back in there again. Oh. Yep, still bubbling away, nice and little boil. And we can see that, so that is about a five litre boil off, which I was expecting at least about seven. So, you know what, not too shabby at all. I can update my stats on that, right? Um, the next experimento will be uh, a boil off volume. I mean, really, it shouldn't boil off that much more. Uh, but I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down to, say, 30. I'm gonna just drain off uh, some of the water, take it down to 30, do another, another hour, and uh, see if the boil off rate is uh, much more um, and uh, we'll go from there all right so i've got it just under 30 so a slight error there uh, but what we'll do is again um so i turn the uh, element off while i was just doing the transfer uh, it shouldn't take too long to get us back up to boiling temperature oh, smoking and what we'll do is, uh, yeah. All right then, sports fans, another hour, and we have gone from 30 again. So we're looking at, again, that's just short of, uh, just short of five liters that's dropped. Boil, 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 bubble, bubble, bubble. Um, so, I'm still pretty pretty happy with all that. Um, uh, something I have noticed is, you know, if you're boiling for for two hours, do get a little bit of a 
dampness on the old wall so i will be investing in next a little um fan and vent to uh actually go off to my little what's it called chimney bit so uh that will be one of the next projects to to work on but yeah so in case you just want i'm sure there's some calculation that you can uh, get online that works out your boil off rates but i'm quite quite happy with all of that and uh yeah so guys that's about it i think uh it's been pretty good with regards to our boil off experiment five liters is our boil off rate for the uh six kilowatt element um which you know that works out quite nicely so it turns out i don't need to actually uh fill it all the way up to the 50 50 liters when i do my big batches or my double batches so uh yeah that saved us some money don't need to uh buy a new pot just yet um before we uh wrap this up uh, i'll just call out that i have uh started a uh, pat's brewery instagram so go check that out and uh if you've uh, got all the way through to this this point without already subscribing i uh recommend you do for more fun and entertaining content so until next time guys you take it easy